Well, I, I, I'm sure if Frank was here, he'd probably say it was better uh, because uh, they enlarged the repertoire. Um, I'm not going to, I don't want to make that kind of a judgment call whether it was, you know, better or whatever. I don't think that any of the succeeding bands, again, provided uh, Frank with the uh, basic laughter and humor and things that we did just being ourselves than any other band, uh, for sure. And I don't think um, there was as much experimentation and weirdness or whatever with the, the future bands. Uh, I think he went out and got the best musicians that he could and played his music. And I think Frank was going toward wanting to be recognized as a serious uh, classical or just a serious composer rather than uh, a rock and roll, you know, guy. Um, but one of the things I think that really did amaze me was how prolific uh, Frank became because I know, uh, and again, this is from recording just about everything that he He's got over a hundred albums out. There isn't anybody that's even remotely close to coming uh, close to that kind of uh, production. Oh, he did call a couple of times. I was, uh, you know, involved, but um, um, I, it just it never really uh, materialized. But I knew a lot of the musicians that eventually did play uh, uh, with Frank. And again, I know personally that anybody that played for Frank had to go through an audition process that defied, you know, uh, you, you would have to be a great sight reader, a, a very, very good musician. Uh, and I think Frank prided himself on, on getting, you know, the, the best. But... You know, there's a thing that you can be a great musician, but if there is nothing inside that is going to come out, um, no warmth, no you know soul, whatever, uh, to me, it I don't get the communication. I don't get the you know what I'm I'm listening or looking for. So that part of it, some of the things I heard. Um, because they were technically really very, very good, that didn't uh, do that much for me. It didn't. I think this, this broad spectrum of the, the material that we covered, uh, again, from Stravinsky to, you know, rock, blues, you, you, I don't think that there were many bands, if any, that covered uh, that spectrum and provided humor. And, um, and also, I, I think, provided a niche for teenagers that were felt that they didn't fit in, but when they heard Frank's music and, and, and some of his lyrics and whatever, I think it certainly provided um, uh, a, a cult that has continued, uh, you know, for, for all these years um, in more ways than one. But uh, that was one of the things that I think that the band provided that I I didn't see from a lot of other bands or heard from a lot of other bands and uh, again certainly didn't provide uh, the kind of spontaneity on on stage or see the kind of abuse that the audience would take sometimes uh, by Frank just turning his back lighting up a cigarette and, and doing a mini rehearsal on stage. 